Hey everyone, X-Men 490 here, and uh, it's time for this episode, or this part of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2. This part, we're gonna fight Whitney, and I'm actually finally co-commentating with... Ultimate Hero 13. Okay, we're gonna commentate over the Whitney battle, which is uh, just as terribly terrible as it would uh, be otherwise. I think this is the fourth time I tried to fight her. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything about the battle. I mean, I, I got a Wubbuffet here. You know, go go use some uh, counter hacks, you know. Like you go to um, to Pokemon websites and you see that the, that Wubbuffet's an uber, like those legendaries, because it has counter and all this HP. And Miltank here uses Earthquake, so that's nasty. So what do you have to say about this ultimate hero? She's really not that difficult to me. I mean, I never played Gold and Silver. I mean, I played Soul Silver the first time I fought her. I literally took her down the first try. I mean, you don't have to believe me, but she's really not that difficult. It just takes time to get, to take her down. I mean, I didn't did, use like X attacks or stuff like that. Well, she's, did you use uh? Did you use a fighting type? No, I didn't trade for the Machop or anything. I just used Quagsire. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, I think I uh, did a I did a playthrough of of Pokemon Silver, and I um I used uh, let me think what was it I used a Quagsire and I kept mud slapping the uh, the Mill Tank so you know its attacks would miss. Did you do that too? I didn't, actually I used um Quilava's smoke screen so I think I yeah accuracy. I erased that for mud shot. Yeah, well, no, it also works. It's actually mud slap, not mud shot. Mud shot's the thing that that lowers speed. And here's a cool fable. Um, you remember my old uh, Pokemon Stadium One Let's Play? Yeah. That was th this cool fable's back, and it's just as bad as ever. This time it has um, that, yeah, instead of flamethrower or its crazy moves, it has. Uh, fire Blast, and some other crazy, like, deadly attacks. And then there's Double Slap, you know, just right when I use Destiny Bond. So, um... Yeah, I remember in that, uh, in that old playthrough, uh, I think Blaine's Clefable had, uh, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. I believe it had everything but a fire move. Cause you think it said like bring a fire type for that Clefable? Yeah, I think so. Like just just in case, you know. Also because Blaine's fire types will use fire moves and then that whole thing not very effective. So so watch watch is this Clefable and. Um, let, let me just tell you, this Clefable completely destroys my team. Watch, watch, Psychic. Can you believe this? <laughs> it's like, wait, it's, it's like Clefables are just born for type coverage. It's also the same, it's almost, it's also the same with Kecleon too. Like, I had a Kecleon and when I tried to teach TMs to my team, like, the only one, like, usually the only one that could learn them was Kecleon. Which makes sense because it can change type. Wait, yeah, but have you fought the have you fought Whitney and Soul Silver? Her Clefable pretty much has like Clefairy. Fire, but no, it, when you rematch her, she actually evolves it into a Clefable. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't get around to rematching her. I I actually found out how to get all those gym leaders' phone numbers. I have all of them except for Sabrina and Blue. Sabrina, because I got lost in Olivine, like on Friday night, and I couldn't find her. And Blue, She's because... By the huh? She's by the port, like where the... Yeah, the I know, port. yeah, I found out. And then as for Blue, you have to, like, keep going to his sister over and over again on the exact time, like 3 o'clock. And I you see that? that? You see that? Just completely destroying Kadabra. I don't even know... 
I don't really know what happened, but that was nasty. That was terrible. Like, when I was recording this, I was like, Ah, what the hell is going on here? Uh, I guess I could have kept using Destiny Bond. So I guess, like, when I uh, actually don't record this, yeah, I, I think I'll record this uh, uh, winning thing. Like when I keep spamming Destiny Bond against that nasty Clefable. Or counter if she uses something else. So yeah, I guess that's it for this part. I'm probably gonna show, like, uh, when this commentary's on. And I'll probably show um, a little bit where the, um... Uh... With... Yeah you know, with me actually winning. So that's it for this part of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2. And other parts, I guess, will be not post-commentary because it'll be like, oh, I didn't know this would happen, and it's terrible. So yeah, that's it for this part. And, yeah. Any last words, Ultimate Hero? Oh yeah, she's really that easy. It just takes time, and... You just gotta have be prepared for anything. Just throw a status effect, then just inflict low like stat lowering moves, and then you'll win for sure against Whitney. Yeah, well that's that's in the uh, that's like in the in the first battle, and I guess maybe the second battle. But in this game, you, you can't really do that. You know, everyone's at the same level. Every, you know, she has these terrible moves, you know.